Hey guys, I wanted to make this video to check out the Hell's Core custom kernel for the Nexus 4. As always, all the links are included in the description. The kernel itself doesn't have a thread on XDA, so I have included the website where it comes from. It is in German, so you will need to use Google Translate unless, of course, you understand German. And yeah, make sure you use the correct kernel for your ROM. It does have both JSS and JWR kernels. Paranoid Android right here is JWR. You can see that from the build number. So make sure you couple it with the correct version. Otherwise, you will just get loads of problems. So yeah, let's do it. So the first thing that's worth noting on this kernel is that the base frequency is a lot lower than the stock Google kernel. You can see that here it comes in at 192 megahertz versus 384 for the stock kernel. Now a lower frequency basically means it's going to use less voltage than a higher one, so this should save you battery. Now it's not quite that simple as things like race to idle do matter, but essentially it should help you in the long run. The kernel of course does allow you to change the gamma of your Nexus 4 screen. By default it does come with the stock Google colors, so you do need an app like Trickster mod to go ahead and set it to something else like LG. You can see it set straight away after pressing set or PA Halfbreed, which is one of my favorites. The kernel comes with a wealth of different options, although I do suggest you leave most on the default values as it has already been tweaked. The kernel doesn't have overclocking, although I don't really think the Nexus 4 even needs it. It also has a fair few governors to choose from, but IntelliDemand has been tweaked and came as default, so that's the one I'm using. So by default, we have MP Decision off, and that's because the kernel has its own solution for hot plugging the cores, which is more efficient than MP Decision. If we scroll down, we've got GPU governor, we've got max frequency here, that is stock frequency can see we're not overclocking the GPU on this kernel. If we jump into hot plug here, you'll see that the minimum cores is set to two. So the whole time we're running at least as a dual core phone. And you'll also see a suspend frequency option. So when the screen is off, this is the maximum frequency that the phone can use. This should save you battery life as it's fast enough for race to idle, but not too fast to waste battery. It also gives you options to mess around with sound. So you can change the gain and the loudness of your microphone or speaker. You can see there's loads of different options here that you can mess around with. One of my favorite features without doubt on this kernel is the sweep to wake. Once you've turned it on in trickster mod, you can swipe from the right to the left on your screen to turn your display off and from left to right to wake your device this is definitely one of my favorite features and i use it all the time so moving on to my impressions after using this kernel and i've been really impressed hell's core gives you a great balance of performance and battery life we'll start off with performance and opening apps is just a breeze it's very fast it feels like you're using a kernel with mp decision which we all know is very quick there's no lags in opening apps there's no lags in the transitions now I'm not going to bother running benchmarks here guys because you know each ROM is going to be different but what you need to know is it's very smooth with the user experience and that's what matters. So moving on to the battery life and you can see right now I've got 55% left so let's check the stats of what we have right now. I've got 7 hours 18 minutes and 9 seconds. You can see this slant is when I'm actually making this video so these stats are a little bit off. You can see the screen on time is 2 hours 58 minutes and I've still got half my battery life left so that is pretty damn impressive. So I did a proper test yesterday in terms of battery and you can see the results right here. I use my device as I normally do. I was at home all day, so I had Wi-Fi on all day. I wasn't on 3G. I didn't play any games or anything like that. You can see I've got 14 hours, 17 minutes, 28 seconds with about 11% left at the end of the day. You can see the graph here. My usage was stuff like WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, the browser, no games or anything like that. You can see I had a screen on time of four hours, what does that say? Four hours, 18 minutes, 41 seconds. And I still had about 10% left, so you're probably looking at four hours, four and a half hours of screen on time there, which is pretty damn impressive. So I've been very happy with this kernel. Definitely give it a shot if you haven't tried it. Peace out.